Hi, my name is Mike Oz and I'm an application support engineer for Agilent Technologies. Today in this short video what I'd like to show you is how to make a four wire ohm measurement with our DMMs and why you might want to use a four wire ohm measurement instead of using the standard two wire ohm measurement. First let's move to the whiteboard. I'd like to diagram the difference between those two measurements. This diagram on the whiteboard shows how a four wire ohm resistance measurement is made. And you're going to want to use the four wire ohm resistance mode similar to the null where you're trying to measure a resistance value that's close to the lead resistance value or a small value. So let me describe how this works differently than the two wire ohm. We still have the DC current source and that goes out the high terminal through a lead resistance through the unknown resistor, back through some lead resistance and returns. It's the voltmeter where things are hooked up slightly differently. Instead of internally connecting the voltmeter to the high and low terminals and making the voltage measurement at that point, we have two more terminals and two more lines that can go out and probe very close to this unknown resistance. We have four wires and this is why we call it the four wire ohm mode. And the reason why this is helpful is when the voltmeter goes and probes out at the resistance here, it is not measuring the voltage drop across either of these lead resistances. So it's getting an accurate measurement right out at the unknown resistance. You might be wondering about the lead resistance in these high and low sense lines that are coming out, but there's really no current that's going to be flowing through that path because of the high impedance of the voltmeter, either at 10 mega ohm or 10 giga ohm. So next to no current will be flowing through this path, therefore those lead resistances do not come into play either. So a very nice way to measure small resistance values. The reason why this is used instead of the null case is that it doesn't matter if these lead resistance values change. You can imagine a test system where you may be making many different resistance measurements and you have lots of different paths through relays to get to those resistance measurements. The 4 wire ohm technique will be able to work in that situation where the null technique only uses one constant value that you've measured and would not be able to handle the multiple situations. So. Uh, the advantage is lead resistance changing for the four wire ohm. The disadvantage is you have to connect four wires. Let's take a look at the DMM and see how we'd make this measurement. For the short demonstration using four wire ohms, we're going to use the 34410 uh, DMM from Agilent. You can see right now we're just looking at the standard default uh, volts mode with the power on state and what I have at this point is the high and low leads shorted together here with this sh short. You'll notice looking in the the front terminals of the DM though besides the high and low inputs I have two other leads connected and these are the high sense and the low sense leads that we've been discussing with the four wire ohm measurement. So first let's move to the two wire ohm measurement. Let's just go ahead and push that and you can see that with the lead length plus the short, we're getting again about um, 100 milliohms. Okay, what we're going to do now is move to the four wire ohm mode. And first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect up the sense line. This is the high sense and the low sense. So now we're sensing right out at the paper clip where I have that short. You can see the value is still about the same until I go to four wire ohm mode. And we do that using the shift key and then four wire ohms. Now you can see that the lead resistance is being canceled out. We're only getting about 27, 28 milliohms for our paper clip in this example. I can just toggle back and forth between two wire ohms and four wire ohms. Go back to two wire ohms. You can see we're back up again about 100 milliohms, shift 4 wire ohms, and now we're back to about 27, 28 milliohms. So it's a very convenient way of negating the lead resistance when you're trying to make low resistance measurements. 
So this concludes our short video describing how to make four-wire O measurements.